Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a recreation. I know it's been a while since I posted something on my English channel. So I thought why not start with the recreation video. So this is what I recreated using my inspiration photo. And I used a color acrylic from model one. So let's begin with the video. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, turn on the notification, like this video, share this video and all those good things. So now let's begin with the video so in today I have decided to do my own nails so at first I am going to trim down the nail length as you can see my natural nails are a little grown out so I am going to trim them down and uh, here uh, one thing I wanted to uh, talk about is my extended hypernicum because I keep extensions almost all the time so my hypernicum which is a skin underneath your nails so that kind of grown out a little bit this might happen with some people not everybody but for some people this may happen so if whenever you get a client and you wanted to remove an extension always turn their finger and see where their natural nail is and where their uh, hypernicum is and then only you trim down uh, the extension or even for the natural nails okay so um, I just um, roughly shaped file shaped my natural nails and then I started pushing back my cuticle so for pushing back my cuticle I am using a metallic pusher you can also use an orange wood stick um, so whenever I do my clients I prefer using orange wood stick so here I'm doing my own nail so I use my own um, cuticle pusher the metallic one and after that I'm using a hand file which is a 100 180 grit hand file I'm using the 100 side since I keep on doing the extensions um, I don't uh, really like you know file the entire nail plate uh, uh, because I keep on removing the extension so I don't want that durability so much uh, so I'm very uh, like gentle with the filing here even if you're doing it on a client's nail always be gentle all you have to do is remove the shine from the nail plate okay we don't want to over file the nail plate and damage the nails just buff and remove all the shine from the nail plate and make sure you're not missing the corners of your nails so as you can see I'm making sure that there is no area which I'm missing um, so I'm just buffing all the corners and removing all the shine from the nail plate once this is done you can dust off uh, clean your nail plate using alcohol and lint free wipe the reason we use lint free wipe is because we don't want any thread sticking to the nail plate so lint free means there is no lint uh, if you use a cotton there is lint which will get stuck in your nails and then um, you know um, it will be sandwiched between your nail plate and your extension product so just always use a lint free wipe so once this is done um, next step is applying a dehydrator and then a primer so if you're going to go and do extensions using uh, a tip a plastic tip then obviously before your primer and dehydrator application you have to apply your tip file it shape it then clean the nail plate and then you apply the dehydrator and the primer so here I'm using a nail foam that's why I started directly with the, my dehydrator and the primer and once that is done I have this paper foams uh, which as you can see I just peel that tiny piece attached it at the back side of the foam and then I close the tip of the foam this way and then I use a scissor to cut and open the back side of the foam so you can use your finger to break the foam but the reason I am using a scissor is because I don't want to touch the glue part too much because too much skin touch will like kind of loosen that grip of the foam so that's why I use a scissor it's easy actually okay so after that I'm going to measure the corners of the uh, of my nails uh, first attach the foam like this way don't close it now just attach it and measure the corners of your nails like this I'm using a scissor to mark that corners but uh, if you're a beginner then obviously you can use a marker or something to mark those corners and then do a cut like this okay this will open up the forms much more and then when you close the form you will have like a really tight and round shape around the growth point of your nails okay otherwise what will happen the form will be 
pushing out of your nail and then uh, it will be like literally wide and then when you do when you do the extension your nail plate will be smaller and your extension the free edge tip will be much wider than your actual actual uh, nail plate so that's why we want the foam to be like in a really compact shape okay now i'm um, using my monomer so this monomer is from a brand called mia secret which is a U us brand i bought it from amazon so i use a dropper to uh, you know uh, take my monomer and then i have this acrylic powder which is from model once and this is a translucent colored acrylic so the as you have seen in the beginning of the video our reference picture that also has like a translu translucent acrylic uh, i am not sure whether uh, the original artist used an acrylic or any other product but again that was a translucent one and this was the closest color i had um, so i picked up a bead i placed it right where my natural nail ends okay and after that using my brush i am creating a free edge so whenever we are using a foam what we do is we first create a free edge and then followed by we do the rest of the apex and the cuticle area so as you can see using the brush i am just attaching my product to the corners from end to end using the brush very gently uh, so here this particular powder since it's a colored powder it takes a little extra time to set so you have all the time in the world basically to like manipulate the product and stretch it and create that uh, length and shape of your extension so as you can see i'm very uh, very slowly i'm doing this as you can see i did not um, um, fast forward the video you can see how much time I am taking here so extend the nail I am going for a coffin shape so you can just uh, uh, adjust the product as per your uh, shape preference so here I am doing the coffin shape extending the uh, acrylic and then once I am happy with the length that I wanted I stop it here so now if you see since I stretch the product too far from the growth point uh, our thickness is actually a little less so it's not uh, enough thickness to um, handle all the daily work that we do so we need more thickness so basically the thickness that you build is similar to the thickness of a credit card it can be a little less than a credit card but not more than that okay so now i picked up a second bead i placed it right behind the first bead that i uh, placed at first and then I'm going to bring that extra product all the way to the length that I have created so this way we can build up the thickness so when you are a beginner uh, you might want to do it like two or three times but eventually when you have experience uh, depending on the length you want you can take bigger beads and you know in one go also you can build up the thickness but say here i did it in two beads so as you can see now we have enough thickness so once this is done now the third part is our cuticle application so for cuticle application uh, just always see how much space is left between your second bead and the cuticle bead and then take the bead size accordingly and then place it a little far from your actual skin and then move it slightly uh, from side to side and then blend it so when you blend it do not really touch the center side too much because that's where that height is going to get built up so do not directly push down that um, height so here see i place the bead then very gentle my fingers are pointing downwards so that the product doesn't move towards the skin so it's so it will always move towards the free edge and then this way i just blended it so now you can see as per the length the height of the apex is built accordingly okay so uh, this will take a little time for you to understand and figure out how much height the apex should have but with experience you will understand and it will automatically happen okay for beginners it will take some time so um, once uh, the whole nail is built then you can just see if you missed any part if not then you can move on to the next one this is how our final sculpting looks like and now uh, after removing the foam obviously we can start filing and shaping so i'm using the same hand file and i'm using the 180 side to uh, file down the sides of the nails so i always start from the side walls because once i make it 
crisp and straight um, whatever shape i wanted to then i can do the filing on the top side so i also did the free, uh, free, uh, free edge side and the side walls and then i did the filing on the top of the side and then once the hard filing is done you can use a buffer to just uh, level up all the scratches and marks and uh, you know things happen during the hard filing okay so for uh, buffers when you are using it do not use the 180 side too much because that is the soft side of your buffer uh, always use the 100 side that is the rough side of your buffer uh, i'm not talking about the hard file the one that you see on the screen is the hard file and now the one that you are seeing on the screen the pink uh, one is our soft buffer and the soft buffer needs to be used for the buffing purpose so as you can see here i'm using shill soft buffer and i'm using the 100 side then buff it and once this is done then you can just dust off uh, clean the nail plate and if you want you can also wash your hands with water at this point or you can uh, just water do not use soap or anything just use water or you can just spray some water and clean it or you can also use a wet wipe to clean it there are multiple ways so whichever is convenient you can use i use alcohol and lint free wipe to clean my nails after all the buffing filing and shaping so here i am uh, using again uh, lint free wipe and alcohol to clean the nail plate so as you can see we have a nice and beautiful c curve and a beautiful coffin shape here and uh, after this i decided to do some 3d uh, acrylic 3d flowers um, but i just wanted to show you the final finish of the nails before i do that acrylic uh, flowers Our inspirational picture had a matte finish so I have decided to uh, go with the matte finish so I am using Madame Glam's matte top coat here uh, apply the top coat uh, and then cure it for like 60 seconds under the UV LED lamp and then now let's start with the 3d acrylic flower sculpting so here i'm using a number four kolinsky brush and i'm using a white acrylic powder so this acrylic powder is a sample sent by a brand called snt beauty uh, so so far uh, this is one of the best uh, white acrylic powders that i have used uh, when it comes to uh, 3d acrylic flowers there are so many brands but this is one that i personally tried i tried a couple of other also but this is one of my favorite um, so what i'm doing right now is i'm picking up teeny tiny beads and placing it uh, like in a circle because i'm going to create a five petal flower uh, using this white acrylic so when you pick up the beads one thing that you have to keep in mind is the size okay so you cannot pick up like different size uh, beads when it comes to creating a flower because we want all the petal to look the same right so that's what at least here what i'm going to do so um, just make sure you have same amount of monomer on your brush same amount of contact time with the powder so that you get that same exact bead for all five petals okay so if you see i placed all the five of the beads first and then after like a few seconds i started pressing it down and creating the petals the reason because the monomer that i used is a little slow setting along with this particular powder that i am using um, my monomer from the snd beauty was kind of over so i had to use a different one normally i use the same uh, brands powder and liquid uh, for acrylic uh, that is what is always recommended but since i ran out of the original monomer so i had to use a different one so that is kind of a little slow setting so that's the reason I left it for like a few seconds and then I came back and started building the uh, petals. So as you can see it's very easy to do, uh, it's a simple uh, flower. So as you can see I have finished that flower uh, and it turned out really beautiful and then I also did two more flowers um, <coughs> and then also added some uh, rhinestones to give it like a little more like beautiful.
and after all the flowers this is how our final finish looks like i really really love the way this one turned out and uh, i think i did justice to the original artist work and uh, um, the original one had like a kind of a pink tone and we have like a lavender tone because we used a different acrylic so this is the artist the one inspiration and this is my work i hope you guys like this video if yes uh, like the video share the video subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy bye bye